Singapore has taken a very, very aggressive stand on searching, isolating, and in turn, uh, quarantining all the contacts of those people. And yet, throwing so much measures and so much effort on it, we were not able to control it. Science revealed to us that there probably was asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic individuals that are sharing this virus out to the community. With coronavirus, we are still not sure how long before you develop symptoms you may be contagious. So then therefore, if, if we are using masks not to protect ourselves but to protect others, When it comes to respiratory tract infection, like influenza this day before, when you start to be contagious, but you don't cough yet, the transmission is very inefficient. It can happen when you speak loudly, when you laugh, when you shout, then there may be generation of such droplet. The virus has very high viral loads in the, in the nose, in the throat, when the person first has an illness or even before the onset of illness, which means that if the amount of virus that flies out, it will be a lot. In fact, it's about 1,000 times more than influenza. Check that the integrity of the mask is intact. Number two, check that it's not visibly soiled. There's no holes at all in the mask. I would then try putting on the mask with the ear loops behind me or securely tied behind me and make sure the mask fits very well. Reusable masks have been issued by the government of Singapore and the idea is to use it every day when you go out. You should clean the mask once a day. I will use a gentle soap, soak it inside water and wash it. Thereafter, gently wring it and then leave it out to dry, air dry and not sun dry. <laughs>